Hello besties, welcome to my get ready for bed with me when like you want to ensure that you're just gonna lay down in my bed and go to sleep, which is what I need to do tonight because I had a little bit of a spiral night last night instead of till four and then I woke up at seven to go for a walk with Celia and I like, whenever I'm like overtired, everything just seems so much more severe. So I'm gonna take you through my bedtime routine, like extreme bedtime routine when it's like severe and I must be able to sleep immediately. So first I just made a cup of peppermint tea, which just helps like with your stomach after dinner. I also became a huge peppermint tea fan because I am very prone to migraines and it helps so much with headaches in general. This is Tea Pig's Peppermint Tea, which is the best tea ever. I discovered it when I was staying at one hotel the night before my bar exam and I had the worst headache and I always get mint tea when I have a headache. And it was like $10 for a cup of tea and I was like, what the hell? But it's the best tea ever. It is a little pricey, I'll link it below. But it's so good. I already washed my hair today. It's honestly a little bit greasy, but I just, I don't want to blow dry it before I go to bed. Cause like, I'm, like I said, I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. So I am a weirdo. And like, if I have stepped outside after showering, whether I like sat anywhere or whatever, if like outside air touches me, I will not lay in my bed. It's like <laughs> definitely a bit of a mental thing. So I'm gonna take a body shower right now. I lit some candles, have like a little peaceful moment. And I'm also gonna spray this Dr. Teal's sleep spray in the shower. I feel like it makes me so drowsy if I sleep with it. But I've actually, full full disclosure, I've never tried putting it in the shower. I thought it would be good for the purpose of this vlog. <laughs> but it's gonna be my new thing. And I, I do believe this stuff works well, so. I'm literally like swaying, I'm so tired right now. especially oh, hold on I need to put my eye cream on first can be hard especially when you're feeling like stressed like to do skincare there's been so many nights where I'm like ugh but I promise like it'll make you feel so much better in the morning this is just like whatever if you're having a bad night like just be like okay tonight's a bad night but like force yourself to set yourself up for a good tomorrow because just because you had a rough night and you're stressed about things tonight doesn't mean you can't have a great day tomorrow but you're more likely to have a good day tomorrow if you set yourself up for it. Which is why I'm forcing myself to do my skincare even though I do not really necessarily feel mentally up to it. Use the Gem Marini eye cream and then this Youth to the People, their Dream and Glow Dream Mask is my favorite night mask ever. I've been using it for, ooh, I've been using it for, for, I can't talk right now. I've been using it for years now and it's truly never failed me, it's so good. This part just feels like I can feel working, it feels so good. I think this is the most important and most crucial part of my whole nighttime routine, so listen up, like I swear by this it's changed my life i got it when alex was visiting in april and i'm actually really sad i need to go buy more because i'm literally out of it but this brand sage who i love i've actually worked with them before for their cleaning products um but they have this it's called sleep well bedtime coconut and shea body butter first of all it is so thick and luxurious 
and it smells heavenly it just smells like lavender right now i'm like literally basically out of it so i'm just going to rub it on like the upper part of my body and apply regular like a vino to the rest of my body but this lotion i'm telling you it makes you fall asleep in two seconds i actually need to order more asap for the rest of my body i'm such a big avino girl i love avino so i'm just gonna use i'm just using their stress relief for the rest of my body and it has i think it has chamomile in it yeah lavender and chamomile so i'm still getting oh my god lotion just flew into the rest of my tea well i was almost done with it but the one thing i have a problem with about avino is their lotion pumps get stuck but yeah i just think it's so important to moisturize before we go to bed now we're gonna go in with this is my other i'm also literally i don't know if you can see but i'm almost out this is also by sage and it's their same line the sleep well line they also have a sleep well face mist which i honestly want to get but you just apply this to i apply it to my temples and then like behind my ears on my wrists and then you apply it to the bottom of your feet too i guess like that's the key one but i'm gonna wait until i'm laying in bed to do that just because i don't want to track lavender essential oils around the apartment because of the release it's time to floss brush your teeth i also pro tip i have a tongue scraper i had to get one like a few years ago because i have a really bad gag reflex so i have so much trouble like brushing my tongue well so if you're like me and you have trouble brushing your tongue get a tongue scraper it makes your mouth feel so clean oh no you guys i forgot to charge my toothbrush ah My pajamas are just a very baggy tee and just comfy underwear. I'm wearing like skims, fits everybody boy shorts, I think. Took my contacts out. Here's where your night can go one of two ways. And I feel like both are the right answer. So A, you can read your book with your Himalayan salt night light, reading light, um, which I will link below, but I can't find the charger to mine right now. So I, mine's not charged, it, but it's so great because then you can fall asleep reading your book and like that's such a peaceful way to sleep. But if you don't have a reading line, second option, which is recommended by my optometrist, um, is to, well, he didn't recommend this part, but I will listen to an audio book, which is just as good. And then you can like unaudibly let you set sleep timer. So I usually never make it past the 15 minute time unless like I'm really stressed but with my like sleep oils and everything, I think I'll be able to fall asleep pretty fast tonight. And then this thing helps too. So this is like a microwavable dishwasher going. Um, a microwavable eye mask and it's supposed to like I have really bad dry eye which is why he told me to get it and it like makes your eyes create fluid so even if you don't have dry eye like you're skip if you're staring at screens all day I feel like it can be good so I'm gonna pop this I'm gonna pop this in the microwave right now always make sure I have full thing of ice water for when I go to bed. I'm telling you, the lavender body butter and lavender oil kick in fast because I'm like having trouble standing. I'm so tired right now. Also, I barely slept last night, but almost time to go to bed but i have to go get my fan because i don't keep it in here during the day because i feel like it just ruins the vibe i put it in a closet but i can't fall asleep too like silence it's and like right now it's not silent because the ac is running but in the middle of the night when the ac is off and i wake up and it's just like 
silent, I get like so scared. <laughs> I'm just about to take my hair out of the hair clip, but I'm just gonna give my hair a quick brush. It's like pretty greasy right now, but I hate feeling like my hair is touching my face when I'm sleeping, so let's brush it back and then these are my favorite hair ties for sleeping, are just the slip hair ties. They really are so good because your hair doesn't kink from them literally at all. They're super gentle on your hair. Wow, very cute look. Okay. Oh no, where's my pen? This is the last step to the night routine. Lola, have you seen my pen? Last step before I put my eye mask on and my audiobook on and fall asleep, and this is an important one. Most importantly, if you have anxiety, I need a dry erase marker because for some reason I don't have a pen in my room. I am the kind of person who when I lay down, my thoughts start racing and I start panicking about so many different things. And sometimes, like last night, it keeps me up till 4. So I feel like a lot of the things I spiral about are all about control. But I have noticed, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like the stress and pressure to keep at the forefront of my brain or else I'll forget it even though of course I won't like I'll forget like oh my god I'm scared I'm gonna fail at life <laughs> so like I literally write down all of the thoughts that are going on in my brain so that they're on paper and then my brain doesn't have to keep playing them over and over I can like tell my brain okay we got a brain they're in my notebook <laughs> You don't need to remind me, and it just really helps me fall asleep better. So I'm gonna write down everything that's like really worrying me right now. From like small things to big things, and then just know, okay, everything's good. This also can include like, if you have a bunch of like things you have to do tomorrow, like I have a ton of stuff I have to do tomorrow, like early in the morning, and so you can treat this kind of as like, a, okay, this is a reminder of like stuff I need to do too so that you don't have to like be in bed being like, I have to remember that I have to send this in 8 a.m. with all of these details. You can just be like, okay, it's on the paper. You get the point. I'm like rambling, but I'm going to start now. Alright, I've got my long list. My long list of worries done. I'm just gonna close close that up for the night. And now, literally, this is an exercise that I you have to tell your brain and make your brain believe it. But my brain now has to believe it. It does not need to, we don't need to go over anything in this notebook for the rest of the night. Because it's in here and my brain does not have to do the work holding on to it. It's right here. It's all good. Ready to like finally fall asleep, so. I'm a little crazy with background noise, so I have the fan that I have going, and I'm gonna have Audible going for 15 minutes. Hi, oh, hey, Cleo, is it bedtime? Cleo, every single night, she comes in and she waits for me to put her pillow down. Like, I just lay a pillow flat down for her, and then she lays down to me and sleeps all night. But she literally, like, will not get settled until I put her pillow down. Look at your pillow, sweet girl. There's your pillow, baby. So, yeah, my. Audiobook plays off my phone, and then on YouTube, I play some sort of rain or ocean wave. I feel like rain helps me sleep better, so this is what I'm going to listen to tonight. Rain sounds for deep sleep, and then I'm going to put my audiobook on right now, take my glasses off, and... Put my little eye mask on. I'm gonna have to take this back off so that I can see the camera, but alright besties, I'm going to bed. I hope that this helps some of you. I know it was a pretty basic routine, but having a nice little routine, I mean takeaways, journal everything out, don't look at your phone, that's so key. If you need to distract yourself with something, read a book instead of scroll, you'll feel so much better. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.
I love you and I hope everyone's doing well. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Good night.